All right. Oh, are we online? Are we zooming? Uh, not quite live, just a video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, John, here you go, mate. Hi. Hi. John, mate, is... How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, why don't we have a couple of tall ones at the back, a couple of tall ones at three in the front, and uh, Michael Wanderer in there, and we'll just catch attention. Shokuna will say, Hapi. Just a basic warm up, and then I'll go through. What I'll do is um, I'll do the basic kicks of Hapkido, which are different from the Taekwondo karate kicks, alright? You'll do the basics, but then. Yeah, I mean, John, get that way. No, I'm just. Are you ready Yes, I've seen you, yes! That's right, Santa Barbara Beers, that's right. What's your name again? Matt. Matt, yeah, I've seen you. The twins. The twins, yeah, of course. Josh and Jeremy, you've already seen The twins, you've already seen that's right. You've been around a long time then, mate. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. It's been a big journey with uh, meeting Mike and the twins back in 1998 and throwing around for the business and the American Rugby Dogs. And the twins and I, Mike and Alan were with me, then the twins and I were pets, and then the twins and I then uh, continued on from there. Kept throwing around for years and years and years. And, you know, until, until they got too old and get some else. <laughs> I was joking about that. But uh, it's been more fun over the years. Now I live here, so it's perfect. Do some basic leg rises. As I said, uh, half kilo is based around lower kicks anyway. We're not going to do any high kicks or anything, but just have a good stretch. And I explain the concept of each of the kicks as we go. And some may be familiar with some may not. And I explain the practicality of where to use, all right? Then I'll teach you some self defense techniques, uh, non aggressive self defense techniques, and then they possibly <laughs> All right. So, first of all, right back stance is a basic stance, as you know. I always like to do a nice little, you know, you know, not like this. <laughs> like when you're talking to somebody, have the hands up and keep the distance in case they have a go at you. Try and de-escalate, of course, as well. Oh, you have to do it. And you have the hands up. From here, this is called a lower cross kick. So from here, it comes in close. Say, for example, you push something into the wall, right? Because you grab me a pimple over here. Maybe, maybe, maybe on my arms or something. And I can't quite, you know, from here, the hands up, maybe it's just pull, you know? Nice little cross. It's not going to go into the knee, right? And while I'm here, there's a lower heel kick from here as well. This side and this side. It won't work. It'll just distract them enough for them to come in something more serious if I need to. Alright? Okay, so let's do a lower cross kick. I go just do a just do a English numbers, not some do the Korean, but no, no. <laughs> one, that's it. Two, technique like three, good, four, five. Good straight in that good change. One. Two, three, keep your eyes forward, try not to look down. Four, make sure it's working, yep, good. Five, great, okay, change. All right, so that's called lower cross kick. Lower outer kick is when maybe I'm at this angle here, put that foot forward, and I come out this way. So instead of lower cross kick that way, I come this way, or this way, and then if I need to from there. That's the way necessarily, um, put something down, and you'll certainly distract them, and then the opportunity that you need to do come up top, right? So lower outer kick, one, twist out. Two, I'll do the first few, I'll kick three, good, bring the foot out a more, four, that's it, good. Coming more this way, that's five, that's right. Change. One, two, three, Four and five, so a bit more out that way. Good. Next one is a demonstrator before is a lower heel kick coming in behind the person. Again, you might be in a position where you're, they're really close to you and kind of this isn't quite, or they crack your arms, this isn't quite working from here, so I can come in from here and if they're here, then whatever, I'll do it okay? Depends on the situation, of course. <laughs> All right? So from here, lower heel kick. One, just bring it back slight and push them at the same time. Two, three, good, four, come for the right back stance, and five. Change, one, two, three, four, and five. Good, so you're hooking behind the knee, you can push them at the same time. Now, I'll pick on some passive. <laughs> circular kick, circular kick to soft balance. Remember, when, you, when you're doing any of these kicks, you must not look where you're kicking. You just press the feet and Don't go off the list. And then get smacked in the head, right? So, circular kicks to the head from here, okay? Now, if it puts them 
样，哦，非常自尊，就是那种，就上面有。How I describe this is uh, like uh, English football or Australia of course more soccer and soccer you guys look soccer as well. It's a football different game Australia. So if you hear sweep, it's like kicking the ball. There's the goal in soccer or English football they call. From there sweep, kick the ball into the goal. Okay, so we'll just slowly without numbers so you get a feel for it first. The sweeping. Okay, good. Jump forward. This way, you know? This way. You, you, now this can be used, this can be used a couple of different ways. You can go into the car hold tip or or it, it all collapse the knee. And if you get five kick like Thai kickboxing as well, okay? So you've got your three areas down there. So you might kick particularly lower kicks for practicality. If I'm doing high kicks, we'll do five over that. <laughs> Alright? Change stance, but not practical. It's sweep, thank you. This way. So jump slightly forward and sweep. That's right. Good. Pivoting, pivoting, and make sure you pivot like a roundhouse kick. You must pivot on that front foot. So you pivot, you know, into the knee. You know? Pivot, coming around. Good. Do a little hop forward, a little hop forward. This is more of an off balancing. Uh, and if you use certain tournaments as well, you can sweep it. Alright, so off balance as well. Called lower circular kick. So it's a circle, all right? Okay, good. There's your basic, some of the basic kicks from there. Now I'll do a couple of little combinations for you, so you're familiar with your practice now. Kick, of course, all right? So we'll do a little combination of lower cross kick, right? Lower cross kick, coming into a front snap kick. So one, two, all right? That's to do it in your own time, so you're not filled as though you have to keep up the numbers. One, all right? Two. That's right. So lower cross, immediately to straighten into the groin. So that might off balance them, and that can open up the groin. Particularly if they've got a grab or a hold on you from there as well, all right? So are you putting your foot back down? Yeah, you do it either. You do it just there, and then, okay, so it's there, and then bring it back and snap. There's also another kick, you can do a 45 angle kick, which I'll let you do that as well. We'll change stand, same again. One, two, and back. So lower cross kick, one, Two. Alright, once you're in situation, you have to you know, do that one. Good. So one, two. And even a 45 kick, they're over there, for example, they're moving, depending on the situation. Okay, so now we'll do a knife with cross kick, alright? So this time, so you do some more side on. Take the more side on, and someone's ever says, oh, kick the drawing, kick the drawing. But that may not be possible because <laughs> he's more, well, he's still face this way, but his body's a bit more side on. So, and I don't kick the knee there, I can do all sorts of things, the sweep and stuff like that, kick the thigh, but just not that ability to kick. Alright? Take the drawing. There's from here. Right, so, for example. Alright? So straight through it. Whatever. The arm bar. I'll teach you the arm bar then too. All this good stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's called 40, that's called. Um, Lower out of it from here, from here, from here, from here, one and out that way with the edge of the foot, all right? Knife foot thrust kick, knife foot thrust kick that way with the edge. I can combine it with a lower out of kick though. It's similar to the lower out of kick, combine it then flick. So let's try that for example. Let's try lower out of kick and flick to a knife foot thrust. Low out up, flick with the edge of the foot. So I can get into the groin. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good, good. I didn't even do it from this side. Do that? I didn't come in from there, for example. Good. I know you've probably noticed already, we'll call it later. I like to, if I'm going to do this, instead of doing one, two, I like to take that weapon out of the way. So. 
protect my weapon that way. So then I've got him there. Rather than and get him knocked in the block. So parry, parry, we'll parry as well. We'll do that in partner work a bit later, probably. So we'll put these in, in the partner work. So there, parry and roll. Then arm bar and then drop kick. Later. I'll do separate technique, then I'll combine them. Alright, in a self defense situation or a fighting situation, depends, alright? Okay, so the other leg now, knife foot thrust. And then combine it with the lower outer and then thrust over there with the edge of the foot. So you're kicking back. Remember, you're kicking with the edge, edge, edge. Alright? So you need to use the table like that. Is you bring it up so you're protecting your own groin, right? Because it's actually good, it's good counter strikes as well. I could use this as a um, so from here I could actually kind of stop him. Maybe you went to kick me, for example, right? So I can come in, see, I can lift it up as a defense, goes straight in, all right? Straight in, all right? So that's another good one as a defense against a kick. So I'm not only protecting myself from the kick, but I'm in the groin, so I'm protecting the groin. So, worst case, I might get kicked here. I'd rather get kicked here than the groin. <laughs> And then I'll put the leg up, so it's a block, then a counter strike. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll boom, this way. All right? Okay, good. So good. So then a few of the differential kicks in half here, the lower kicks, and you've got your knees and the chorus and your normal you know, side kicks and all of that. But we don't want to go. We don't want to do two different things. You know? That's what we do as well. So now uh, we'll go on to some howls and grabs and what we do in some particularly when we're self defence. Okay, so. Not every situation can warrant, and Aikido is perfect for this as well, um, a, a serious punch to the throat or a, you know, if you're being attacked in the street by a guy, right, then yes, you gouge your eyes and your throats and your life's in danger. <laughs> and same with the kids, you know, just because a bully calls your name, you don't have to do anything, you just do, you can just block and just, you know, parry and things like that, you don't have to hit them, you know. But if your life's in danger, yes, you have to kick, okay. But I'll go through some non-aggressive ways and with the footwork, and you saw Mike before with the three inch break and how good the footwork was. And that's half the battle in this and other sports, and other favorite sports like tennis and bigger ball. And it's all footwork, you know. Footwork, footwork. Well, martial arts, same thing, footwork. Get off the line, get off the line, move out of the way, redirect that horse. I get a redirect the horse, things like that. All right? So what we'll do, we'll do a drill. First of all, we'll do a drill with our feet, okay? So here, hands up. So the, say the punch is coming in. Oh, I just didn't show, so maybe just the right punch is fine. Just, right, so there, so. Now, whatever I need to do is there, okay? So I'm just redirecting that bottom slot. So I'm just redirecting from here. Now I've got a million things I can do. I can nail him. I can be nice to him. He's pushing it up to there. <laughs> and go away. So if that was a drunk on the street, Trying to grab me, so I'll do that one. Yeah. If someone's got a knife here, it really attack yeah. me, then I can hit them. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on the situation. So let's just do the footwork with the circular. And we'll do the we'll do the wax on, wax off. <laughs> okay, so we're here, circle. Let's do that. So we'll just do the right foot behind. Circle. So we're going clockwise, right hand first, left hand. So I'm just taking that arm away. That's it. Just there. And see so how my foot comes right around. Practice that first. Well, I've got a perfect number. <coughs> Six would be good for pair practice. That's it, good. And the redirect, perfect. And we'll go that way in case the left hand attacker can't say, excuse me, I haven't practiced that. Sorry, okay. <laughs> can you hit with your right arm? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, from here. So it'd be the other way. So I'm going anti-clockwise, left hand first. And watch how I, when I circle, I bring this other hand back to my face, and this is ready as well. So I'm not just flopping them down. That's like a guard stance. So I'm circulating back to here, then I can do whatever I need to. Boom, whatever, all right? Let's try that. This way. And bring the hand back to here. You can take your knife hand, you can palm, you can block again if necessary. I bring that hand back to here. So again, I'll do it slowly. So one, two, see the left foot, and then hands. I finish this way. 
So this is where I need to hit to the groin. I can do a knife hand strike from the groin. I can do a back fist to the groin. I can do an elbow to the groin. I can come back up and hit the bridge of the nose. Now if this backhand has more power, so it shot to the neck or a palm to the nose. And as I do it, I come back here in reality. I don't do this. That's traditional. Okay? That would only work if someone grabbed my arm. Hey! That's what it would work. <laughs> that does teach a lot of things to use traditional action reaction or power, things like that. But I really need the hands back up here. And if you're in a serious situation, hands always protecting the face. You need to really come down and up and move. <laughs> Alright? So, yeah, this is good. Now, actually, what we'll do, um, okay, so pair off. Partner up, the same fight, you got it. You know, for you two, you two, you two, you two, yeah, yeah. Either way, this one, 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 one. Either way, on you two? Okay, cool. Now, what we'll do is we're just going to practice this technique with practically, okay, with that. So, just the punch, this one, so. That's all I need to do at this stage, just a bit. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it four times each. And then I do four punches, you do four. Then you do four punches to the right, then you do four to the left. So take four times each. Step in more, step in forward, step forward, and really getting down from here, step to the right, step forward, and more back here, yeah. really getting down here. Okay. Not, don't leave it here because you can do come back. If we don't want to get him off balance, then I can do a million things from there. Alright? Arm bars included. Good. I can lock them up from here. 911! <laughs> Maybe I can make him call 911. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, do you take me? Okay, so if you're here, actually, probably it easier, we'll just do it, we will do it for a grab, but of course, if anyone ever grabs you, oh, it's going to grab me. I should have let it for a start. So I didn't hit him, he fell into it. That's it, that's it. So, um, yeah, so now what we'll do is practicality wise, we'll do it this way. Someone grabs you, so they've got, make it easier if their right hand grabs you. Grab, there's a nice little pressure point here as well. See how you just have more flex there? I didn't do anything. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's a whoa. No, it's kidding. <laughs> That's crap. Oh, there's some funny of it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, yeah, so just, just do four each. Yeah. Practical. Really good women, yeah. Stretch the fingers. Stretch the fingers. Really stretch it. Hurt. Stand up. 
so hard. Just use your body weight and just kind of turn the twins down. Stretch the fingers. Is it the energy from the music? Outer bone, right on the triceps. Mm. Halfway, hey guys, use uh, halfway between your own elbow and the wrist. See that? Everybody? Halfway between my own elbow and my wrist, I'm pressing with, and I'm pressing between his elbow and his shoulder halfway. So that way I've got a bit of margin for error if I cut, you know, slip off or go too close, and that gives a nice power with the forearm bone. It's not going to be a block too much like the forearm bone, mm -hmm. rather than just this part. Yeah. Beginners can always do this, you know. <laughs> Beginners always do this. You said that's why Same thing. Learn to use that. Same when they did snap, snap that out, press on it hard. You should use bone a lot more. Yeah. Get this relaxed. So that's, that's there here. <laughs> now if you get okay. If you get somebody that's you know, fairly big and strong that really they, I mean it doesn't really work if someone really goes tense, you go really strong. See, it's not, not going to work, right? Then, get here hard, hard on it now. Look, that loosens him up, then we can roll into it. Alright, and then we'll lock it there, we'll bring it back down. Okay? So get someone that's too tight. Having said that, if someone's really grabbing it pretty tight, and they're really, you know, that's pretty vicious assault. So, you might hit them. <laughs> You know what I mean? There's some drunk, hey, give me some money. Uh, you're not going to go, oh, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> just, just push it, hey, mate, let it go, let it go. No, don't, no, no problem. And they kind of go, oh, okay, then I'll pick it back up. All right? So you want a non aggressive way of getting out of things and an aggressive way of getting out of things. <laughs> so you got that idea done? Now, we can do the same idea. We can do the same idea against the punch. So I'm going to do punch. I'm going to catch him here. You can just do that if you're not familiar. That's okay. We have that one as well, the key, key hand. All right, see that curry hat figure symbol? That's the key finger. That works with that. And also this. Okay. And this is for the fixing, just relax your body, you might get rid of it. <laughs> you sign your way there. <laughs> fixing technique there. And it does start to hurt, just tap. Okay. Right. Always tap, like you just do, always tap. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we'll just do this one again slowly. You're there, I'm gonna come into here, now I'm gonna come forward. Now if that doesn't work, for some reason they're resisting, then I can just use this shoulder, you know, boom, like this and push them over, okay? That's good, so get the head down. Let's try that. Five, four times each, I think is a number, each hand. That's right. Now, by the way, to reverse this, if somebody's going to reverse this, it's called a reverse technique. I can still kick here, or I can come this way and reverse it. That's called a reversing technique. Having said that, having said that, I'm doing it. 
Hi guys, watching? Okay, I'll take you. I'll, see, I'll teach you a verse technique. You're taking someone else into you. Okay, so, so uh, you're doing it to me, pressing there, right? And and I then come around to reverse it. Before that, I'd say, oh, what what? How cute a master toy that one, mate? <laughs> Do I know them? They just learned some silly. <laughs> Something common. <laughs> Not many people know this kind of stuff. Street fighters definitely. So they would have done martial art, but then martial arts don't attack people, do they? No. Depends on me, right? So here, now I can also, I can kick in there too, and kick, you know what I mean? Right? Loose him up, and reverse it on him. There we go. And we need to distract him, since we need to. But Hakita generally is to get them on the ground while I go. Try not to grapple somebody, because their mate might come and kick in the head. That's the problem with my jiu-jitsu. I'm not going to give you up my school. <laughs> Good, but for self-defense, you have to be careful with jiu-jitsu. Uh, trying to choke someone out of arm while I'm in a real fight. With the people um, thinking that they'll just go to the ground and have control. Yeah. Yeah, as a last resort. Yeah, but for tournament, well, of course it's a tournament, but competition is quite different. Yeah. It's like Taekwondo, it's different. <laughs> and we kick Taekwondo is sport. It's useless in the streets. Yeah. You have to kick someone in the street, and they have hands out like this. <laughs> so it's totally different. It's there's sport, there's art, there's real self-defense. So you've got to separate the three when you're teaching or training, all right, and understand the concept. So I keep going with that one, a few more, together. Got a quick drink. The water that is, of course, so I don't drink alcohol, so it's good. I'm always alert. <laughs> yeah. So up close, if you guys watching this later, my arm bar, like that. That and then we'll do the fan technique. Should like we do this. the other side or do you just want the one side? Yeah, do the other side. Four, uh, let's do four of each side. Always do four of each side. I'll do four in a row, you do four in a row, and then Guys, I'll bring you guys back in. I'll bring you guys back in here. So come up close, and we'll get, I'll get you. It's not. Change your name. What's your name again? Craig. Craig and Craig. Never shake the martial artist's hand, otherwise. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> so be careful. Thanks, <laughs> Craig. All right. <laughs> All right. So now we've gone to here. Okay, guys. All right. Next, I'll land. We'll land one more. So I've gone to here because you got to know how to finish this. One, two, arm bar here. Now that's okay, if he goes to the ground, that's good, but he resists and he tries to get back up. I don't resist against him, as you know, like here, I go with him. Okay, and I can lock it into here, and then push my arm. This is what all police need to learn. They also need to learn this. Okay, they also need to learn this as well when you get somebody down. If someone pushes you this way, you go here, down, and this is called a fixing technique. So I push that down, and then can you get up from there? There, from there, right. Okay, good. It's in a vulnerable situation, you get choked and into it. Okay, or the other bit, the best way is when you get them down is this. This is what should have happened for a lot of police cases, anyone that's another story. So you've got that fixing technique, and even this one, we'll have the, all the weight on the tricep. Is that okay? Is that strong? Can you get up? No? I'm not even doing anything else, but, but I wouldn't certainly choke the neck if they can still breathe. That's how they should really lock people up. Okay? In our Hos and Sul, Hapkita, the first down, the first degree, is 18 police locks. This is a part of the test of all the kicks and everything else. Right? So all the police and security really need to learn this. Whether they do or not, that's another thing. Okay. Um, so, so, okay, so we'll do it again one step at a time. One, two, I'll come to the armbar. He resists. I come back. I bring my elbow high in case I need this to strike, lock him down, and then push from there. If I need to, from there. No, 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 no. He needs some help, not me. <laughs> All right, so let's try that. I'll do it last bit slowly. 
The only need to do a favour is this. If he goes all the way down, that's fine. I don't need to bring him back up. If he even get back up, I'll go with it. High elbow action, so I don't get hit myself. And I've got to lighten the jaw there as well. Might be the nail, and then down. And I've got to fluff like this. There as well. And I can even bring him over. And then hit him in this position. This is even better. Alright? And you can still breathe. Alright? I'm like, at the situation, this is happening. Okay, so let's try that. Is that okay? Do it gently. Gently with that part. No sudden. When you do joint uh, locks, as you know, um, and work, but you never, no sudden action. Not like a punch where you can do that. No, no sudden action. Just smooth, gentle. Okay? Let's try it. Here we go. Alright. So, if you go from here, there, I resist. You come back up and lock me back. That's it. Good. And high elbow action. Perfect. Resist, you come back up. That's right. So when do they resist to go with the flop? Oh, you like that Now, from there, guys, you can also, once I'm here, okay, that's good, and you can as well. And then go, oh, maybe you got BO. All right, then, oh, yeah, the, the BO technique. Shh. <laughs> All right, from here, from here now, I've gone, the, I've grabbed this wrist like this. I've got to close the camera because you guys have seen it on my YouTube. I'll put it on my YouTube channel so you can learn. So I'm here, cl close. So I've got it in the key hand on both hands. Key hand, I bring the elbow high. Now, if he doesn't still go from there naturally, I just sweep him and help him. Aren't they nice to help him down? Very nice. I think it's very kind of me. Just yeah, very kind. Nice little sweep. Yeah. Just to help him down. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so over here. Good, nice little boom. Bam. Okay? Get him on the front if you can. Boy, if you need to get someone, try and get him on the front, pull the arm out, and then lock him. <laughs> can you get up? Can you get up? No. Come on, get, get up. up and then I'll take him in a choke from there if you need to, okay? Oh, <laughs> 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 then, then, then your burns come up and just help me around. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, so keep going that one. Gently. Keep going that one. Actually, this time we'll do. This time we'll do. Uh, I do one, you do one. Just in case somebody misses out. Yeah. That's it, do it. It's good. <laughs> All right. All right. Like, hey guys, this time we'll do. I do one, you do one. In case I, you know, do four and you miss out. Okay. Yeah, I think that's better. Keep going. Yeah. Good. So this time, that's great. So this time we'll take in turns. I do one, you do one, I do one, you do one. Just in case I. Yeah. I, I do my four, but I miss out my four. Four in, and he's just ready to go. Yeah. Biceps, all the fresh ones. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. That's it, and come back with the foot. If you need to sweep that leg in, take his leg gently. Yeah, leg that way. So just that way. That's it, yeah.
in a train situation, in a situation, doesn't matter. Right here. And then this comes, so you're standing up. Sweep you try not to leave a knee there because you can do an anterior that way. No. So just let it go. Yeah. Go with it. Yeah. Then sweep. That's it. Nice little sweep. Go down. Do you break the ball? Once you give me. Just break the ball. Yeah. Okay, good. Going well. Sweep him and bring his right leg forward. That's it. That's it. And gentle go with it. That's it. Good. 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 Oh, by the way, guys, try and um, do your break falls. So just uh, just a quick quick recap on break falls. You want to lie down for a minute away from sweaty areas? Let's just do pra practice this when you get a chance. Always practice this. So a break fall is up. See that? Put here just on this one. Up. So this grab here, I'll come a bit closer. I'll put this on my YouTube so you guys can see. You know. So from here, grab from here. Now again, any grab or hold, you just gotta got grab me. You gotta grab me. Okay. I shouldn't let it. Alright? Shouldn't let it, okay? So again, for me too, I can hit that. Like that. So I parry, parry, boom. So I'm taking away his weapons. So let's see what I did there. One, two. And I'll get him before he gets a chance to come back. I'll see that. And I'll trap him. Foot trapping. And then boom. Okay, so that's one thing. <laughs> but this particular thing, if you do get grabbed, and you're not watching, <laughs> yeah, you're here, he, he go in the direction where he pulls me. Right? So he pushes me, pulls me that way towards his leg. Go with it. And then throw. Good break fall. No, no, that's good. I've got him on his front. And then I'm going to pin him from there. But don't get him on his front. Say he just does a normal call. <laughs> no, so here. Right, left, right, and then I can pull him out, push that down, and push my knee on here. And say, naughty boy, you're not attacking him. <laughs> You've attacked the wrong person. <laughs> but if there's ever a right person, no. Okay, so let's do let's do that in shadow movement first, without a partner. So behind me. So they're grabbing on top, like this, with the right hand. Now, my fingers, my thumbs rather, are pointing up the arm. 
go closer in case you're watching this later. Up the arm, okay? From here, right foot, left foot in a horse stance, and right foot. So you can throw them down, yeah, back again. This is very good uh, to when you're learning something new, do what they call shadow action. So you not have to worry about a partner or getting it right. Also you've got to get it right before you do it on a partner. So you understand the action. Because on a partner you can't do it too hard to get, you know? All right. But in the air you can do it hard to one. For the moment, let's get the technique right. Okay. Grab, right foot, left foot. This is a horse stance. If a horse riding stance, anyone knows that one. And right foot again, another horse stance. Okay. Again. Right, left, right, like a dance. <laughs> Right, left, right. That's it. Good. Now partner off. Partner off from here. So grabbing, from, again I'll show you on partner. So here, this one, you can lift it up underneath. Also I can crack the up, I can already crack that one as well. And then around. Oh, I can sit around nicely for me. Tack her up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay, here. <laughs> Boom. Good. And then I can push. If I if any position I'm in, I can put my foot on their neck, just initially, and then or rolling over to here, rolling back and put on the tricep better, you know, on that shoulder, you know? Okay. Okay, so here we go. So grab my partner. Now this time, in case you know, I don't want to do four each for we'll just do one, I do one, you do one, right? So you okay. I do one, boom, all right, you do one. Thumbs up, thumbs up, and then again. Right foot, left foot, right foot, and then sleep. Then this is how you do a break ball. Alright? Alright? And I'm up, I'm ready to defend too from this. You come back at me. Bam, bam. Alright? We'll take the legs as well. Put that right foot forward, for example, for example. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Alright, taking turns. Yeah, guys, come back over here so it's easier to uh, correct you. We might just spread out a little bit. That's it, so you can get closer in, that's good. Okay, here we go. Well, <laughs> Put it back in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we'll do that now. That's why I like it. No, I'm fine. That's it. Yeah, one, two, gentle. Keep going with it. That's it, and practice your brake fall. Yep. It's a good opportunity. Good opportunity to practice your brake fall as well. <laughs> That's my foot smell. Okay, so what you did there was a different one. You can't actually do that one. If you 
you go the wrong way, I'll show the technique for that. So some people are going the wrong way, because it is hard when you go left, right, left, right, right. You cross really, the arm, that's what I mean. Better practice one side first. Yeah, yeah. So if I went, the, if I go, that's that way, if I come this way, I turn into this. Does that hurt? Yep. Tap. <laughs> <laughs> Must tap grasshopper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, from here, in, I can, curl, I can lock him in here, I can bring this around here, and turn this around to the as well. And I can then come into here, and lock it this behind him, okay? Yeah, yeah cuffs here, that's it, exactly. Cuffing in there, exactly. So, um, if you're into that kind of, that kind of thing. Okay, so you can go the other way as well. At the moment, just do that one, but if you do accidentally go the other way, that's more of a laser set into here and then bring it in. So well, there's not much pain there, but once I do this, yeah. yep. see the pain? Yeah, you're twisting your wrist. Push it into here. Then I can bring it around. I'll let go. Okay. 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 That's how you do this. Alright, here we go. So just do a few, couple more of those. Practice your breakfast too. It's an opportunity to practice your breakfast. Go down, break full, break full, slap, slap. That's right, straight up. Good. Yep, let go, yep, good. Drink of water, it's hot and dry. Those watching at home, don't do this at home without a martial art instructor. <laughs> Alright, bring it there, because this is a bit more intricate. It's going to be gentle, gentle with each other, not too hard. If you are watching this, I'm at Santa Barbara, Mahala Academy, alright? And I'm teaching now in Los Angeles area. So. USA School of Self Defense. There you go. What's Mahala's website? What's Mike's website? And here is sbmartialarts.com. SB Santa Barbara, as in Santa Barbara. sbmartialarts.com, okay? Santa Barbara. LA and Orange County area. Talk to me, USA School of Self Defense.com. And don't do this without instruction, without. <laughs> basic stuff's alright, but not. Don't do it on. Don't grab your partner. Oh, let me try this technique. I'll learn from the video. <laughs> don't do that. Alright, it's all gentle. Yep. Oh, well, it's just a massage, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, no, just, just give me a good shot right That's here. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, good. Good, good. That's it. Gentle with It's in the footwork as well. Right, the right arm, if it's a right hand, it's right foot first. Left foot, right foot. For the left arm, it's left foot first, right foot, left foot. That's the other way around. It's a down under way, the Australian way. Ha <laughs> ha, the opposite. All right. Good. Okay, good guys, that's good. Uh, we'll, give them, we'll, give the, we'll give the joints a rest for a minute. <laughs> Do you want a quick drink? Do you want to need a drink? Yeah, okay, yeah. a quick drink break. We'll come back out and I'll do some stuff without the joints. Okay. Alright, so give them a rest, yeah. Okay. There you go. Part one finished, we'll do part two soon.